Hey guys, Kincaid here and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you all how to go ahead and add a cartoony outline to your models in Blender. So right here we have a very simple axe that I went ahead and made a few videos ago. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and add a cartoony outline to this. So what we're going to go ahead and do, I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate this just so we can go ahead and compare a before and after. But you don't need to go ahead and duplicate it. But you kind of do need to go ahead and duplicate it. So for this, it can be multiple uh, mo models like this, how they're all separate. But just to make this a little bit easier, I'm just going to go ahead and combine all these together by selecting all of them in Control J. There we go. And now what we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to go ahead and click Shift D to duplicate it. Click it off so it doesn't move and then click Tab to go into edit mode. And go ahead and click A to select all. Well, actually, it would probably be easier if we go ahead and do it one by one but what we'll go ahead and try we'll try doing it all at once so now what you want to go ahead and do hold down alt s and go ahead and move it so it's a little bit bigger some pieces might shrink it while some others grow so you might need to do separate pieces at once like if we go ahead and do it all s th these pieces grow but these other pieces shrink for some reason which is kind of strange so we'll go ahead and select everything besides this one. Well, actually, we'll go ahead and do this first. So Alt-S, and we just want to go ahead and make it a little bit bigger than the previous one. You can go ahead and decide how much bigger you want it than the previous one. Let me just go ahead and I'll just do it like this. And that's about good. And now I just got to go ahead and do that for the rest. And now this, I'll just go ahead and make it its own selection to go ahead and make it a little bit easier. And now for this piece right here, select everything. Alt S, just go ahead and make it a little bit bigger. You can go ahead and make it however much you want it to be bigger. Also, this might be a little bit glitchy if you go ahead and use it on like different models. So you might have to go ahead and adjust it a little bit. But yeah, overall, it should be fine. So this is how it should look a little bit bigger than the previous model. Now what you want to go ahead and do, just go ahead and combine these together because it makes it a lot easier. If you don't want them to be combined together, you really don't need to. But it's a lot easier. Now what you want to go ahead and do. You can go ahead and make this whatever color you want it to be. So let's go in UV editing. I'm just going to have it be a black outline. So I'm going to select everything. And project from view. And I'm just going to go ahead and make it all black. You can make it different colors if you want it to be. But for this I'm just going to have a black outline. So there we go. That is how it should look. And underneath we should still have that. There we go. Now what you want to go ahead and do. Click on it. Go to edit mode and click alt, select everything, click alt and flip. And also before you do that, I recommend going into this view right here. So go into this view right here, click on this and go ahead and click on back face colon. And it should show you which pieces are already back flipped. And you might need to go ahead and adjust those if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and move this to the side. So for this one, for the blade, I can easily fix that by clicking alt and recalculate outsides. And goes ahead and fixes that. So this is going to go ahead and move it over here. Going to do the same for this. Recalculate outsides. Make sure it looks good. And now once we have that, I'm going to go ahead and click Alt N. And click Flip. And there we go. Now it should look like that. Let's go ahead and... So if we go ahead and go to Material Preview, it will still go ahead and look like this. But if you go ahead and go into this preview and have back Backflace cooling on... It would go ahead and look like this, and it should also look like this if... Now, I guess it doesn't look like that one re rendered. But yeah, so let's go ahead and click on this. We can go ahead and see what it looks like textured. It is a little bit darker because it just makes the whole texture darker whenever you're on this preview rather than this one. So yeah, but this is pretty much what it looks like. You can go ahead and look at it. It will also automatically go ahead and look like this whenever you load it into a game. Like, let's say I go ahead and export this, and if I were to put it into Roblox or something, it would still look like this right here rather than this. So, yeah. Yeah, here we go. We have our nice little c cartoony outline. You can go ahead and make a few adjustments. Like, for these right here, if you want these to be a little bit smaller, you can go ahead and select them by doing this, select. And we can go ahead and scale it down if we want it to be a little bit smaller. But that looks about good, and it's pretty easy to go ahead and do. Another way to go ahead and customize this is, instead of using black, what you can do, you can go ahead and select it, and you can go ahead and make parts different colors. Like this right here, what I can do, I can go into UV editing, and if I want to, I can go ahead and make this part red, 
and it kind of matches the color of that thing right there. And you can go ahead and make some pretty cool effects with that. But we'll go ahead and just leave that as black for now. There we go. So this is what it looks like before and after. Let's go ahead and fix this real quick. Recalculate outsides. So, so that is what it goes ahead and looks like before and after. And yeah, that is how you go ahead and make a cartoony outline in Blender though. So that's going to go ahead and be all for this video. So go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And I'll see y'all in the next video.